Hey, I'm Mike. I'd like to tell you a story that would change your life. You have to listen from the beginning to the end, otherwise it won't make sense. But if you do, it'd be well worth your while. See, this is not just a story about hydroponics. It's about life and love, tragedy and heartbreak and rebirth. This is a story about Tommy, the tomato. Tommy used to keep me company while I tended garden in the morning. He always knew how to cheer me up. And I would bring him flowers when he was down. Somehow I'd like to think that that cheered him up too. You see, Tommy was more than a tomato. Tommy was my friend. I always wanted the best for Tommy. I wanted him to grow up to be as big and juicy as the other tomatoes. The plants he grew on were lush, lots of blossoms, and the nutrients were working so well, I thought that if I added more, would it double the size of the plants? The fruit? Tommy? I had to figure this out. Let Tommy be all that he could be. If a cherry tomato grew as big as a regular tomato, would it still be a cherry tomato? Or a subpar tomato? I had to give it a try for Tommy's sake, but how? I could double the nutrients. It should work. But first, I need a lot of fertilizer. I use Master Blend. I will double the nutrients for all of these guys before I leave town for a few days. Maybe even throw in a little rooting and blooming formula too. We ate at a hippie surfer shack where you can feast on hummus and smoothies. I opted for cookies and Bob Marley. We went to the farmer's market, saw a trolley. We're having a good time, but we needed to get home. Hey, I got some more of those nutrients y'all like so. I'm so sorry, Tommy. I was just trying to make things better. Seems like every time I try to help, it always ends up bad. I chose this spot in the garden to lay Tommy. I think he'd like that. You never think you may have to bury your best friend. And then the day comes. And nothing quite prepares you for that. This is your garden now, Tommy. Watch over it.
I guess the only positive thing I can say is that it was a glorious spring day. Everyone came to pay their last respects. His parents were there. They were tore up about the whole thing, as were his friends, the apple and the orange. And I was there as well, saddled with the guilt that I let my friend overdose on hydroponic nutrients. He said he could handle it, thought he was unbreakable, invincible. Hell, we all think we're invincible sometimes. Tommy, he was reaching for the sun. We all have our limits. And Tommy just flew too high, came crashing down like melted wax and feathers. And I was to blame for it. Okay. Give me a minute. I will miss you, my friend. Sleep well. But what about the other plants? The future tomatoes? Did I let them suffer the same fate as Tommy? I can't do that, but I have to work fast. Nutrient lockout is already set in. There's so much to do. Since Tommy's gone, everything's a blur. I can't seem to focus anymore. But I have to. These guys need me. They need me to trim their dead leaves. They need me to clean their downspout. Have to get rid of the nutrient-rich solution. We're gonna have to flush out your systems and detox. Just good old plain H2O until you guys get to feeling better. Then maybe one day you'll be as big and as lush as your siblings. Only time will tell. As time goes on, I remember Tommy. There may be millions more tomatoes, but there will never be another Tommy. And even if the whole crop fails, I can start again next season. And the same is not true for us. It's new do-overs. We get one chance and one life. You see, everything you do is like a drop in the ocean. Your actions, good or bad, send out ripples across the universe affecting everything and everyone in a profound way. The problem is time. Time slips by so, so fast. Are we taking things for granted? Do we forget to cherish the simple things? Are we making the most of every day? Are you spending it with someone you love? Or with friends, helping a stranger, or smiling just because you can? Or do you look out at the universe and just be thankful to be alive? And live your life with passion and joy. Don't think of this as some inspirational video. It's just some things I'd like to share with you that I've learned from my time with Tommy. And experience the extraordinary dance like there's no one watching marvel at life's wonders never grow up and always always be amazed by the simple things in life find joy in everything and everyone and help those that need you you see I think of Tommy and the good times we had together as I nurse these plants back to health with the proper care
and the proper nutrients. That I'm amazed by each new growth, each new blossom, and the promise of a bountiful harvest. And I am comforted with the thought that even though my arrogance was the cause of much stress and much loss, even I can be forgiven and start again. There will never be another tomato like Tommy. A little piece of fruit that gave me a whole new outlook on life. You get one life to live and one life to love. So live your life with passion and make the most of every day. I love you all.